I said yes to mentoring because I wanted an interaction with somebody, um, obviously of a younger demographic, and I wanted to learn from them as much as they maybe wanted to learn from me or interact with me. So it was just, I think it was kind of a desire just to interact with younger people. What really, really piqued my interest initially is that although I have two grown children now and they're very successful in their own ways, um, I feel very strongly, very strongly that um, I wish that this program had been available to my kids, especially my daughter, again, who is very successful, but uh, has some issues that just talking to a, a an adult without being a disciplinarian or someone who would judge, um, not a, a parent who's emotionally involved, but somebody who is mature, um, just talking, not even necessarily being told what to do, but just hearing herself talk and making decisions, I think that would have made a huge difference in my daughter's EQ or emotional um, status at this point in her life. And if I can help a child um, with that as far as in their maturing process, then I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to be involved in it. Something that I could do that I didn't get when I was younger, uh, get a chance to impart some of the things that I have challenges with and someone to share it with and I thought it would be nice to do. The thing about teammates that really appealed to me was um, I had a chance to meet Tom and Nancy Osborne and I just love their hearts for for helping young people and, and not necessarily in, in totally tangible ways but just again by loving them, encouraging them, giving them a, an environment where they can thrive. and. Um, they have a heart for God. They have a heart for families in this country. One thing I like is, is the controlled environment of being on the school campus, um, having the, the structure there where uh, the teachers and administration around to, um, have been very supportive of the mentors when, when they're on campus. Um, I really believe in the core values of teammates. I liked their thoughts. I liked how they ran it. I didn't feel pressured. I appreciate the integrity of the program. I think it's a really well-run program. And so that really appealed to me when I was thinking about mentoring and volunteering my time. I meet my student at lunchtime one day a week at his school. And um, I always come prepared with an activity or an idea. Uh, I know the things already that he likes to talk about, his favorite hobbies and things, but basically I just leave it up to him what he wants to do that day. And then we just rally around that. I encourage him, I engage him, I ask questions, uh, you know, just try to, try to draw out um, more of whatever he's interested in doing that day and then we share it together. We have fun with it and it's really all about him. I basically do a lot of sports activities uh, to start off with. And then during lunchtime, we get a chance to talk about things, um, about what he has been doing and what he plans to do. We started the book on Inter Miles that was written by John Wooden, the coach from UCLA. And um, it's just that uh, we were looking at the pyramid of success in the book, where it talks about some of the characteristics of what makes you successful. And we've been using some of the building blocks as a source of conversation to break in, particularly after we play some basketball or some physical activities and we use the activities to branch into what do we think about uh, how we did and what building block you think we worked on today and what building block you'd like to work on next time. And so give us a little blueprint as to what life uh, needs to be to be successful. We like to do puzzles and games and cards and um it, the 45 minutes just goes by so fast because we're always doing something and always talking about fun stuff. My mentee uh, came from Taiwan and I am um, love history and so I've learned a great deal from him as well as I've tried to uh, offer my support to him. Uh, he's a uh, only child and uh, although kids adapt very well to new environments, but I've learned a great deal from him about culture and, and language. And uh, so, although I'm there to offer support to him, he's been a tremendous resource to me, just learning about his background and, and how he's adapted to uh, life here in California. I 
absolutely do this. You make a difference in a child's life. It doesn't take up all of your life. You don't feel that you're being overwhelmed with responsibility, but I've, I am a firm believer in uh, the fact that it takes a village to raise a child, and uh, I'm part of the village, so I think that others should become part of the village as well. I would say absolutely 100%. It's worth every moment of your time. It's so rewarding on both behalves, I think and it's just it's a really fun thing to do i always leave my mentoring sessions with a smile on my face and excited about my day and excited for the next week that i get to meet with her so i say 100 percent it's worth every moment of it one of the things that i notice is that when i'm spending time with my mentee a lot of other kids are hanging around they're very interested so it appears to me as though there's a need for more mentors especially women to mentor the young young ladies the girls I would just encourage um, everyone who's considering it to just think deeply about it and just see if it's not something you might be able to, um, to try and, and get used to. And then also, if you're already being a mentor, you know, have the courage and the boldness to ask others around you to get involved as well. I think you, you get a lot more than you, you give uh, in this kind of environment. Uh, you get a chance to really feel the kids' needs and the things that he's missing that, that he doesn't know about. At the same time, you can impart your particular experience that he thinks that you know, might be helpful for the kid down the road. You know, like, like the old saying goes, they might not thank you now, but thank you later.